I'm here at the end, and Minecraft just released this brand new weapon, and it's pretty simple. The longer you fall, the harder you hit. Oh, come on. The longer you fall, the harder you hit. <sighs> Finally. Finally. And in case for some reason you're like, okay, but what about fall damage? Let me just show you something really quick. Okay, as you can see, I'm really high up. The gas is way down there. And if I just do this... There we go. As you can see, it negated my fall damage. Hello everybody, Minecraft Snapshot 24W11A is out now, and as you could see earlier, this is the mace. This new weapon is crafted from the heavy core and breeze rods, and I'll show you more about both those things and much more very, very soon. This block right here is the heavy core. It is a smaller than normal block. As you can see, it's about the size of a Minecraft player head. This block is as described by Minecraft.net, a mysterious, dense block, which can be combined with a breeze rod to craft a brand new weapon, the mace. Now we've already shown off the mace a little bit, but I do want to talk about the breeze rod first. So the breeze rod is an item dropped by the breeze that can be crafted into four wind charges. Here's the breeze rod. It's like a little blue lightsaber stick. This item, as described by Minecraft.net, is an item dropped by the breeze that can be crafted into four wind charges or used with the heavy core to craft the mace. Let's go ahead and get into the specifics about the mace. First off, I want to talk to you guys about its damage. It has 7 attack damage and 1.6 attack speed. Now, you might also be wondering what kind of things can we enchant this with, and I'm wondering the same exact thing. And I guess before we get into all of this, I should actually read to you guys exactly what Minecraft.net says about it. So Minecraft.net describes the mace as a heavy weapon to smash your enemies. Leverage the weight of this new weapon to deal additional damage the farther you fall before hitting your target. Try it out by jumping down towards your target and hitting them before you hit the ground. Successfully striking a target in this way will negate any damage accumulated from the fall similar to how a wind charge works. Other entities near the struck enemy will be knocked back by immense force of the mace. Using a mace will decrease its durability like any other weapon, repair it with breeze rods at an anvil, and players can use a mace in combination with wind charges to launch up, delivering a devastating smash attack on their enemies. Let's also quickly try that. You can hear it a little bit when I actually do land a successful fall hit with it. I don't know if you guys heard that last sound there, but right there at the end. There we go. That is the mace in action. Even provided a little bit of fall damage to him, poor guy. Alright, now let's see if we can enchant this thing. So first things first, obvious question, can you use it in the enchantment table? And it looks like you can't. Yeah, okay. So, no unbreaking, no mending, no sweeping edge, no sharpness. I'm assuming that means the mace cannot have any, and I mean any, enchantments. Which does mean that mending is a little less OP now, especially if you want to start using the mace in your arsenal a lot more. Now, with the mace not having mending, you're going to actually have to go to these trial chambers and... You're going to have to collect the breeze rods to repair your mace, which, by the way, let's go ahead and do that right now. Just to prove that it does work. Boom. Repaired. Let's go ahead and talk about the breeze rods right now, actually. So as you can see, we have ourselves the breeze here, and it's supposed to drop in between one to two breeze rods when killed by a player. As you can see, we got one there. We got two there. It doesn't really matter if you have looting or no looting, which... Did I test looting on the mace? Let's see. No, you cannot have looting with the mace. Okay, I do think there are a couple of enchantments the mace should get, such as Sharpness 5 and looting, as well as Unbreaking. I think Mending is 
probably one of the things that could be the trade-off for this weapon. However, I do think overall, right now, it's a pretty nice weapon. I'm not going to lie. They've also added quite a lot of other really, really cool items and patterns and decorations. I'm talking about, of course, the sherds. The pottery sherds. Don't you guys love pottery sherds? So here is a decorated pot with all the new patterns on it. So, I believe in order, this is Flow, Guster, and Scrape. They all look very nice. I'm sure somebody's going to find cool ways to use these in their own unique ways. But I know this isn't really what most of you guys are interested in. We're probably more interested in the banner patterns. So here is Glow. And here is Guster. So Glow. Guster. Two very, very nice patterns. And I could see these being used in any number of ways. I mean, a lot of people have been saying that they wish they could do more with banners. Adding this in not just makes it so that you can do simple things like this, but so you can do things like this, which may or may not possibly become the new server banner for my viewer joinable server, King SMP. If you'd like more information on joining that, please join the Discord link in the description. I know not everybody's interested in pottery sherds or banner patterns, but armor trims are also getting a little bit of updates here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of them. So we've got Bolt, and let's see how it looks. Okay. That's actually a pretty solid option. It's not overwhelming and it's not underwhelming. I, I will say I like this better than some of them. So here is Blow. As you can see, again, not overwhelming, not underwhelming. It really, actually, this one's kind of good. I do, I do kind of like this. Now let's go ahead and get into their crafting recipes because obviously you don't want to have to try to find these armor trims to, you know, make your armor. You're going to want to be able to have at least one so that you can duplicate them. In. And let's go ahead and look at their textures here, and you'll probably could guess exactly how they are made. Bolt is duplicated using a copper block or waxed copper. So let me just go ahead and grab some copper here. So as you can see, this is for Bolt. And then if you couldn't guess, Flow is going to be done with a breeze rod. As you can see, there we go. Both duplicated. Since I'm in a trial chamber that I've already been in before, it's going to not have any of this new stuff really that I'm talking about, but I did want to talk to you guys about it anyway. So, new trial chambers and variations with challenges. They remade Chamber 9 and it renamed it to Slanted. And they remade Chamber 3 and renamed it to Pedestal. Along with this, they added flow, guster, and scraped pottery sherds to decorated pots in the decor structure pool. So here's a pot. So, it, you know, they might have some items in these now. Along with this, trial spawners will now appear more frequently in the corridors. And they changed the layout of the blocks around the vaults. So let me see if I can see some of the... Well, I can show you what the old vaults would look like. That wouldn't do you much good, though. The loot tables of vaults and trial chambers has been updated to address some important management issues for your inventory. And, you know, this is a good sign. A lot of people have been complaining about inventory issues to Mojang for a good while now. So, let's go ahead and get right into those. You will now get no more than one unstackable item per vault. So, you know, no more, like, horse armor plus a axe plus some armor it's going to only be one of those unstackable items plus whatever stackable items you get you will now get more rewards which can stack together so because of this uh, offset in the balance of okay suddenly you're not getting very many items you're now going to get more emeralds more whatever other stackable things they drop i don't know all of them i just know some of them they really need to make all bottles stackable up to 16. I don't care if it's a potion. 
or what? You know, potions aren't viable at the moment because you can't stack them and nobody wants to take up 12 inventory slots carrying around all their potions. I think potions should definitely be stackable. Or make that the use for the bundle, I'm just saying. Think about it, Mojang, please. Horse armor and saddles have been removed from the loot tables. Vaults and trial chambers can now eject the following. Wind charges, bolt armor trim smithing templates, flow armor trim smithing templates, flow banner pattern, guster banner pattern, and the heavy core. And in case you guys have forgotten, the heavy core is the item that and block that you're going to want in order to craft yourself a mace. They have adjusted the flying behavior for bees and parrots to keep them from overshooting their position when flying up and down. Just a minor change, you might notice it, you might not, who knows. Should make them a lot less clumsy overall. Status effect particle colors are no longer blended into one particle color, so each visible status effect particle is now rendered separately. So no more when you're walking around and you have four particle effects that it just displays brown instead. It'll actually display each individual particle instead. You can see there's just several different particle effects that are popping up on my screen or around my player. And that all shows what kind of things I have on me. A couple more things here. They updated the wolf armor crack textures. I'm not going to beat another wolf for you guys to see that. It's, it's a small texture update. You guys can test that out yourself if you'd like. And the menu background blur has been updated to look better and be more performant than what it already was. So, you know, remember when I did this and you guys could see the background blurred from, like, last update, I think? I... it may have been a couple updates ago. But anyway, the background blur is now more optimized and it looks a little nicer. Technical changes are data pack 35 is now out and resource pack version 29 is also out. I'll let you guys go ahead and read those data pack changes for yourself because they're not that important to the overall group. If you need help getting over to that change log, then please go check out the link in the description. It's below the like and subscribe button. There were a total of 38 bugs fixed in this snapshot, and I'm sure there's a lot more to come. Overall, what did you guys think of the mace? Please let me know with a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to catch you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. The longer you fall, the harder you hit. <laughs> Okay. The longer you fall, the harder you... No! The longer you fall, the harder you hit. <laughs> Come on.